To fans, it seems like Oprah was trying to push her own narrative while making a laughingstock out of Tony. Dave Chappelle had a similar experience, only he didn't let Oprah win. Back in 2006, the comedian famously appeared on The Oprah Winfrey Show to clear the air around his decision to turn down a lucrative $50 million deal from Comedy Central. While Dave clearly said he didn't want to go down the same road as his fellow celebrities and lose himself, Oprah had other things on her mind. Time and time again she would imply that Dave suffered from a mental illness that led him to make that decision. She even went as far as to ask him if he escaped to Africa for psychiatric treatment. Fortunately, Dave was quick to fire back. He shut down Oprah's attempts to paint him as crazy and walked away unscathed. Unfortunately, Tony and Dave were not the last to be on the receiving end of Oprah's mistreatment. Rapper Chris Ludacris Bridges knows all too well about the games Oprah plays. Back in 2005, Ludacris was set to appear on The Oprah Winfrey Show to promote his new movie, Crash. However, the interview with Oprah is not a fond memory for the rapper. During a sit-down with GQ magazine, Ludacris recalled feeling unwelcome and highly uncomfortable with Oprah. What's more, he revealed that when the cameras weren't rolling, Oprah took shots at him for using the N-word. I was there for a crash, but 